My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. Who remembers these? If you remember these, you a real one. Everyone that's ready for E3, please raise your hand out this sucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> E3, man. <laughs> E3 is literally right around the corner. The junk is freaking next week, son. And I expect to see some next generation games. I expect to see some Kingdom Hearts 3. I expect to see some Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. I expect to see some Uncharted 4. Uh, what's that joke called again? Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. I expect to see Sony wise up and say, you know what? We will include the Uncharted 2 multiplayer beta with the Uncharted remaster. Most importantly than that, my brothers and sisters. I mean, shoot. Word around town is now, is lo it, it, it looks like that we all ready to see some Last Guardian. <laughs> Last Guardian, shoot, they're saying this junk might might be at E3. If this junk could be at E3, then all dreams are possible. <laughs> okay. But anyways, E3 is right around the corner, and before uh, E3, you know, starts next week, I just want to talk about something that um, you know, that kind of you know uh, interested me. So I was watching a kind of. Funny Games YouTube channel, you know, with Greg Miller and all those other guys calling and stuff. And uh, they was, you know, talking about their E3 predictions. And um, was it Greg or was it Colin? I think it was, uh, I think it was Colin. And he had bought up the, uh, you know, uh, one, one of his pr predictions were that he thinks that the PlayStation 4 is going to get a price drop. And, you know, when he went into detail about it, I, I was like, you know what, I can actually see sony doing that you know and here's the thing i need some water <laughs> that's how i be when when i see a hot system <laughs> no but uh um what was i saying oh yeah so the thing is, really, Sony doesn't need a price drop for the PlayStation. The PlayStation 4 is doing swell right now, okay? I don't know the exact, the, the, the last I know about the PlayStation 4 is it sold like over 20 million PS4s already. So the PlayStation 4 is doing fine. It doesn't really need a price drop. The thing is, we all know that, um, at least for Xbox, uh, the Xbox One, they pretty much revealed uh, a uh, one terabyte xbox one and you know people you know that i mean now that you know these games take up so much freaking space i thought before this gen started 500 gigs was good like i didn't need another hard drive but nah the i mean shoot you got games taking up like a hundred like a hundred gigs so you know you need more space for you know your uh con you know for your console if you play a lot of games so they're gonna come out with a, a one terabyte xbox one um and shoot, last I heard, the junk comes with a $50 gift card. And I'm like, is the struggle that real for my person? <laughs> like, I'm just, God damn, it, you, you get an Xbox One, one terabyte, and the junk comes with a $50 gift card. And I, I think it, is it the same price as a normal Xbox One? I'm not sure. Shoot, it might be knowing Microsoft right now. But, um, so... Xbox One is confirmed. It's getting a one terabyte Xbox One, you know, uh, model, you know. So, um... And with PlayStation 4, I don't know if it's confirmed or not. I think it's, I think, I, I think it's going to happen, but I don't know if they confirmed it or not. You know, they might show off. You know, they might show it off at this year's E3 and announce, you know, the newer, you know, PlayStation 4 models that come with the one terabyte hard drive. But I don't think it's been confirmed. So, wanna correct me on that if if I'm wrong. But when Colin was talking about, you know, the PlayStation 4 getting a price drop, the way that I thought about the only way that I see Sony could drop the price of the PlayStation 4, which again, they don't need to do because 
PlayStation 4 is eating right now. <laughs> <laughs> they are getting some good money with the PlayStation 4, you know, despite us not having games to play. But um, the, th the only way I could see Sony dropping the price of the PlayStation 4 is if they came out with a one terabyte PlayStation 4, which I think they're probably going to do, and they drop the price of the 500 gig PlayStation. It's like so. So say if the you know the PlayStation 4 that's out right now, the 500 gig PlayStation 4, they drop that from 400 for, from from 400 to like 350, and then the one terabyte PlayStation 4 is 400. If they was to do that, then I could see a price drop. But again, so it doesn't. They don't need <laughs> to drop the price of the PlayStation 4. But when he had bought up the play the PlayStation 4 possibly getting a price drop, I was like, that's the only way I could see it happening. You know, they keep, you know, the uh, PlayStation 4 that's out right now, they drop that to 350. And when they introduce the one terabyte play, you know, PlayStation 4, then they put that at 400, you know. So, I mean, I could see that possibly happening i could actually see that happening again they don't need to do it but that's the really the only way i could see a possible playstation 4 price drop you know xbox one uh i think it's still well shoot it used to be 500 <laughs> but you know they dropped the price of the xbox one i think now you can currently buy an xbox one for 350 dollars. you know and that's right now the set price for the xbox one but it was supposed to be four hundred but they decide you know what let's keep it at 350 for you know right now you know so um so xbox one is going to have one terabyte con uh con console and i can pretty much I, again i don't know if it's been confirmed or not but i i mean i can pretty much say that we're going to see a one terabyte playstation 4 you know uh model so and i could actually see them drop you know drop in the price of the 500 gig playstation 4 to 350 to really you know be at the same price as the xbox one maybe but again they don't really need to do it you know but i i, I thought it's something that could actually happen but do you guys think that sony would do something like that would they drop the price of the of the playstation 4 again they they don't need to but it's possible it's it's, po it's definitely possible and if they was to do that i mean the playstation 4 is already selling like hotcakes if they was to do that then that don't be pretty and shoot they probably they probably would have a bundle you know with us something so that possibly could happen um is that, is that but that's really all i want to talk you know to, to talk about a possible playstation 4 price drop you know um shoot maybe a playstation vita <laughs> <laughs> a PlayStation Vita price drop. How much does a PlayStation Vita cost these days? Do I care? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, so that's really all, all I want to talk about. Do you guys think that there could be a possible PlayStation 4 price drop at this year's E3? I think it's possible, you know, if, you know, dealing with the whole one terabyte PlayStation 4 and they drop the 500 gig to 500, I mean, it's a 350 and keep the one terabyte at 400 or maybe put that at 450 i don't know but anyways e3 right around the corner out this sucker i cannot wait to see what these bastards have to show off um i can't wait to see some last guard <laughs> if they really show this game at, at e3 this game better be freaking amazing <laughs> we've been waiting for years if this game comes out and it's like this is why I was waiting for this game. This jump better have an impressive showing. That's all I, I'm saying. Because it's rumored that it's going to be at this year's E3. But I don't believe it until a brother sees it. Okay, because right now, last guard, got, la, the last guardian is the detox of video games. Okay, anyways, E3 right right around the corner definitely excited for it. uh but yeah i'll see you this is pretty this is pretty much going to be my last vid until e3 and then i'll cover you know all the con you know the, the conferences and stuff like that so anyways i'll see you guys during e3 if you want to again i don't advertise <laughs> like my twitter and my facebook and stuff like that but man i'm telling you right now if you want to have a good time because last year it was so fun if you want to follow me on twitter or like my facebook page whatever i during e3 the junk is always it be popping on my twitter bro last year when i be talking to people during e3 it's just so fun man so if you want to follow me on twitter if you're not doing so already or like my facebook page feel free you don't have to though sucker okay you ain't you ain't got to okay but anyways e3 right 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 around the corner sony 
You gonna drop that price of the PlayStation 4? Or nah.